Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power 16, chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about the fluids. We can say in this one, we need to find the velocity v1 in this equation. So how can we say that? This is the position 1, this is position 2. And then the liquid with all water moves through from the position 1 to position 2, right? And what is given? P1, P2, and density and cross-sectional errors for position 1, position 2. So first one, we consider continuity equations. So because the volumes moved from position 1 equal to volumes moved from position 2, right? So we have A1V1 equal to A2V2. And then we can write the V2 as a function for V1, put it there. Now if we look at the um, Bolody's equation, this one. And you can see because this uh, uh, equivalent is placed uh, horizontally, so y1 equal to y2, no problem, right? And then we can solve the equation, it becomes this one, and then we can get the function for v2 equal to v1 squared plus this uh, term, and v1 and v2 squared, we can input this function inside. Now you can see in this equation, we can solve the v1, right? v1 equal to this function. Now the second time, tell us, uh, the diameters, main diameters is given, and the throat diameters is given, and the pressure difference is given. Can you find the speed for V1? Sure, we can see what is given. We listed there. First one is R1, right? This is the main diameters. So this is diameter given, so you can get the radius. R1, you can find it is there, half of the 3 centimeters, R2 half of the one centimeters there, right? And A1 equal to pi R1 square, A2 is pi R2 square. Now the pressure difference is also given 18 millimeter Hg. So you can convert it to the unit Pascal. Now you can see in these functions, uh, R1, A1 is no, A2 is no, difference for P1, P2 is no, density is come from water. Then you input all the quantities known, get the final answer there. Thank you.